Lately, I have been getting quite a lot of interest from lighting companies who want to give me their lighting products for reviewing, and today is just one of those days. Today, I will be giving you guys a short review about this light, the WeLight Ninja 300. For those of you who aren't familiar with this brand, you'd be happy to know that WeLight is actually manufactured by the guys at Viltrox, and Viltrox is definitely a really good up and coming brand in the industry. So, that is another reason why I agreed to do the review for them anyway. By the way, as always, full disclosure the light was given to me however they didn't tell me what to say in this review so don't worry I will be doing my absolute best to tell you exactly what I think about this light and also as always my reviews are not gonna be those scientific ones with charts and stuff like that it's just gonna be merely my experiences using this light and my objective way of showing you what I gathered from the information I got from reviewing the light so if that does tickle your fancy then I guess this review is definitely for you all right so let's first talk about the build quality of of the we light ninja 300 when i received the package from china and opened the package the first thing that really got me excited has definitely got to be the bag the we light comes with its own carrying case and to me the fact that this light comes with its own carrying case is a big deal because i do have some lights that i bought from the past which doesn't come with any way for me to easily transport them so yeah you can imagine my frustration buying those sort of lights because of that, I ended up not really utilizing this light whenever I had to transport them anywhere. Okay, so back to the light. The light is made from aluminium and it really feels good and sturdy. Buttons and knobs all feel well made. I really don't have anything to complain about the build quality of this light. So for build quality, I would say it definitely gets my approval as you really can't ask for much for this kind of price range. Okay, so now let's briefly go through the specs of this light. The Ninja 300 weighs just under a kilogram at 989.9 grams. Included with the light is a reflector that has a mini Bowens type mount. The mount can be converted to a full size Bowens mount by a converter that comes included in the package too. The light's power is rated to be about 80 watts and when I did switch on the light at full blast it really looked more like a 100 watt kind of light. So yeah that was quite impressive. This light comes with a color temperature of 5600 kelvins which is pretty much daylight. It has a CRI of 95%. The light includes a bright OLED display that shows all the information and the menu of what modes you are in so that is definitely super useful dimming and brightening the light can be done via the super smooth dial on the back of the light itself or you can use the we light app for greater control the light comes with 12 lighting effects which include stuff like fireworks paparazzi just to name a few when you use the app you can also use this light with other we light lights so I really like the fact that it can be integrated with other lights too so that's really useful. The light can be powered by two NPF batteries which makes this light super portable and such a good light to bring around whenever you need extra output. Okay so that's enough about the spec. Now let's talk about what it was actually like using this light. Well all I can say is that using the light was quite easy and intuitive in general. The only real complaint I have is when it came to using it was that toggling to certain menus at times wasn't as straightforward. For instance I did find turning the fan from high to low mode at times seem to be a bit fiddly but it's just a small gripe I guess oh yeah and the other thing that really did bug me about this light is the fact that the we light app is not as intuitive at times so there were times that I was actually thinking that the light was gonna switch on and it didn't really switch on because some settings are not really right but it didn't seem as obvious what was going on so yeah I wish they would re-engineer the app somehow however there's one thing I really do love about this light is I love that this light allows the user to use it with NPF batteries. I can really see this light being so useful for my wedding portrait sessions, especially considering its small size and power output. With the amount of output it is able to generate in such a small package, I can always bring this light for a backup light for all those just in case moments. I definitely prefer continuous lighting compared to strobes whenever I can because it's a lot easier to predict what the light is going to do. In terms of noise, this light doesn't generate too much noise at all in my opinion and you can always tune it down manually if you do find that it is a little bit loud for the stuff that you are recording so that is another useful thing so here are some quick comparisons I did with the Armand 100D Thank you. 
Right then, so what's my conclusion after using this light for a few weeks now? What do I think about it? Well, for me, I think that this light is another no-brainer kind of light to get, especially if you are just starting out and you really want a good and affordable light. It works really well in tight spaces where you really can't afford to bring a big light. Yeah, I do find that that fact alone makes this light super useful and super desirable to have. And the other thing I love so much about the light is the fact that you can use MPF batteries. I mean, that is so useful. I have them lying around everywhere for my monitors and stuff like that. And the fact that this light can be powered by MPF batteries pretty much won me over. I mean, that is so useful. I have so many MPF batteries lying around. So this light is definitely one of the lights that I am going to be bringing around for my wedding shoots whenever I do need that extra light. Right then, I guess that's it for my review. I hope you did find the information useful and helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe for all those algorithms to work for me. Also, if you do feel like making a small contribution, I did leave a link to buy me a coffee in the description down below. Also, I did leave links to all the gears that I use to make these videos in the description down below. So do check them out right then. See you guys in the next video. Peace.